Welcome back. Now we're going to uh, show you the McConnell taping technique. This taping technique was invented by a lady out of New Zealand named Pat McConnell. I met her in Hilton Head one year. And basically what we're trying to accomplish is if you, if you notice where her, her tibial tendon ties in, her patella tendon, tighten the kneecap, tighten it, and see how the kneecap rides up into the outside. The only thing holding it to the inside is this muscle right here called the vastus medialis, which we discussed before. We relax it. You see how it comes down to the inside and goes up to the outside. Most kneecaps, especially on females, will ride high into the outside anyway. Uh, and why do we use this tape job? Well, um, I use it in many different ways. I, the, uh, the novelty way is I use it to increase the speed of the players that, that use it. Uh, because if your kneecap's riding up and down in the valley and it's dragging along this ridge right here, there's resistance to your lower leg coming forward. And if we push the kneecap over and more into the valley, then there's free to, the, the leg feels a lot lighter. You can run faster. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a consequence of, um, it's a side consequence of the tape job as opposed to something that we do it for that reason. There are uh, many reasons why we use it. The biggest one is patellofemoral syndrome. There's distal pain here, there's lateral femoral pain here, and there's medial, medial retinacular pain here. And this is called, these are symptoms of patellofemoral syndrome. I've seen, the, the worst I've seen it is that the uh, super patella bursa swells up from the irritation of the joint. The problem with the vastus medialis is when the joint swells up with more than 20 cc's of swelling, this muscle shuts down. The vastus lateralis on the outside takes 80 cc's of swelling before it shuts down. So say post-injury, post-surgically, anything that causes the, the knee to swell will shut down the VMO pretty quickly. And then the kneecap st starts dragging laterally. And you have to specifically address this muscle in order to get the kneecap pulled the right way. And as soon as they come out of surgery, as soon as the, the scabs get to a point where I can tape over them, I'll tape the, the surgical patients quickly to re help to reduce the swelling because it's kind of a catch-22 because the swelling so much, the kneecap drives laterally, dragging along that ridge, and it increases the swelling. So it's hard to get rid of the swelling in the knee without pulling the kneecap over. Other things we use it for. Um, uh, Larson's Johansson's disease, which is a growth plate irritation of the patella or the kneecap. Uh, and Oshkosh Slaughter is one of my favorites. Uh, the tibial tuberosity here swells up from the tendon trying to be pulled loose on the kids that are in the growth spurts. And I'll tape it and I'll take the stretch out of the tendon by pushing the kneecap down and over more into the, in the groove of the femoral groove. And I'll take the stretch off the patella tendon, which relieves the pressure on the tibial tuberosity and can play with that pain. Now, now it is, I've, met, I've marked out the kneecap and as you can see there's, little, there's extenuated fat pads not so much on her right side but more on her left. Uh, I assume she's right footed. Most soccer players if they're good they'll say no I kick with both feet and I say mm -hmm. I don't believe that. They usually kick more with one and we tighten this muscle here on this leg. We tighten the muscle here and she's got nice VMOs on both of them and relax it. But obviously the VMO on the left side is not kicking in as much because as you can see the, the, the fat pad here is more extenuated on the left side as opposed to the right. So I would say she's a right footed kicker and of course she is. First thing we do is we look at two tapes to, um, to do the McConnell taping technique. There's the cover roll and I like using the four inch it's just a hassle using a two inch and it's by uh, Beersdorf and I always like to use the original tape uh, I've tried to use the other other brands but they don't they're not as sticky and don't, they don't stay on as long I use a four inch by ten yards this is about eighteen to twenty dollars wholesale online and this is a Luco tape um, I, once again by Beersdorf there are other brands out there I just don't have as much success uh, with them lasting as, as long when I put it on the knee. Sometimes I will put it on the knee for extended periods of three to four days. Uh, one thing I need to tell you is 
if you if the if it starts itching underneath the tape or starts getting really hot underneath the tape, you need to take the tape off because you're having a reaction to the uh, adhesive on the tape or the adhesive spray. Uh, you have to use some kind of adhesive spray to get it a good tape job because if they are doing uh, some kind of sports activity, uh, the sweat will take the tape off. So uh, this is tough skin. There's QDA. There's all kinds of, uh, of stickum spray. Uh, they, they all have the same ingredients, but it's good to have that. I'm not going to. I'm going to pretend to spray her knee right now. Um, the the spray job should go in front of the hamstring tendon here, and come across the knee kneecap to about an inch and a half to two inches beyond the kneecap. Now, once once the spray is dried, we we go to the next phase of putting the tape on. Now, to measure the tape, I like to just start in front of the, front of the hamstring tendon and go to the outside about an inch and a half to two inch beyond beyond the kneecap itself. And I like nice sharp scissors. I hope these are the sharp ones. Yes, it is. And in, on a windy day, this is the hardest thing to do because this flies everywhere. I have to go find a spot where there's not as much wind. I measure out the kneecap, and if you don't have it drawn out like I do on her, I then I measure it. I get the little white areas, go a little bit, inch and a half to two inches on the outside, and go to the inside. If this, if this, on most of my tape jobs, I don't like wrinkles. I don't mind wrinkles on this one. This really can form a second skin. I've used this on uh, strawberries on the uh, on the rear end or around the knee cuts or around the, the shin and it moves with you. It's, it's a great tape I, and it's, unfortunately it's very expensive. This is a Luco tape. Um, I like to, if you, if, you take, if you use this as a template, you want to go about an inch and a half to two inches smaller than this because you, you don't want to get this tape on the skin because it will take skin off. And through my um, years of doing this, the first the first strip I, I really don't have to measure it. It's, I can do it by uh, by sight. But the first strip should go halfway on the kneecap, halfway off the kneecap, proximal or above the kneecap. We go a little bit to the outside because, as we can tell, you always test the skin to see how much the skin moves. Some people have really tight skin. Some people don't. She's about medium. So we go oh, about an inch outside the kneecap, pull to the inside, and just about got on our skin. So clip that a little bit. If you roll it out here, it's not on the skin, it's just on the cover roll. And we take a second tape, second strip. It's about two-thirds of the first strip. This one, I, want to, I don't want to put any pressure on the distal end of the, of the kneecap. So the second one goes, it's a shingle effect, about halfway across the kneecap. And once again, we pull to the inside. And once again, it stays on the white tape and doesn't go on the skin. And this pushes the kneecap down and over. It takes it off the lateral femoral ridge. And any, any, any crepitus or, any, or any, um, any crunching along the lateral femoral ridge will go away. And once again, we re-elevate because most of the pressure I want to put on the lateral femoral ridge, the connective tissue there, and we're tightening up the medial renaculum, connective tissue on the inside of the knee. So we're taking the stress off here. We're putting some stretch over here, so we'll hopefully stretch that out. We're taking the stress, the stretch off the patella tendon, which will take the will take the pain away from the osteoid slaughters, as well as patella tendonitis as well as patellofemoral syndrome. And like I said, I can, you can use this one for many different things. Uh, once I tape it, I have them get up and walk, and they always say, it feels lighter. And I always, I always say, well, be careful when you're running down the field because this leg will run faster than the other leg, and you'll run in circles, which is the joke I always tell. But I've, I've proven with track runners that it does increase your speed. Uh, but this, this job I use, I'll have kids drive from 30, 40 miles away just, to, just for this tape job so they can play in a game without pain. Thank you very much.